John Elliott's been live at the Upper Montclair Country Club for the LPGA's Founders Cup. Uh, he's got your first alert forecast, and I'm uh, uh, to, to believe, John, that there are some good dogs about to come our way. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! So yesterday it was fun. They, uh, we had this this a a adventure, so to speak. They invited 70 dogs from the Seeing Eye over to Newark Airport, and uh, Vince and I went along for a little bit of the ride. This is such an awesome outing for the dogs. It's great exposure to real life experiences, and the puppy raisers have a good time. And we're also walking through the airport with all the travelers watching the puppies, admiring them, and the puppies getting the great experience. It's wonderful. Little Holly is only five months old, so it's nice for her to get you know exposure doing different things, lots of different stimuli here at the airport. So. And she did well. She did well. She did great. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I think I'm just as tired as she is. <laughs> How important is this exercise been for the dogs? Oh, it's it's crucial. The exposure, you know, this. The, the sounds, the textures, all that is like, you know, priceless. And, you know, very grateful of United Airlines um, letting us use an airplane to, so they can practice getting underneath the seats and everything. It's something that we like to give back to the community and involve ourselves in community projects. It can be stressful. And that's why we, want, we wanted to show ways that we can make it a little bit easier for them. Oh, the exposure is amazing for him. Uh, to get out to the airport, uh, especially with other dogs, fantastic. Uh, the Port Authority is looking to see how we can make it more accessible for all our customers. There's a collaboration in many points with this. We're very happy to work with the Port Authority and the TSA and the Seeing Eye to bring this all together today. This amazing experience. Our passengers loved it. Our employees loved it. It was, it was everyone was taking photos all over. It was quite an experience. Not a bad day at work. Not at all. We participate because we want to ensure that our customers have easy access to the airport. Traveling can be very stressful for some, so this, providing this opportunity for the dogs to be able to come on the airport to travel through, recognize themselves with the sounds, the crowds. It also provides the airport community with an opportunity to familiarize themselves with the practices and procedures to support um, those customers who require additional assistance. The welcome that we get from all of the staff here is just amazing. It's so fun. I'm so excited that we were able to resume this program. Uh, Post-pandemic, we had to hold it for a while, so but it was so great to see everyone travel through the airport again. Especially our four legged friends. <laughs> so, 70 dogs, uh, 87 people, and uh, over a couple of weeks, it's about 200 folks involved. SeeingEye.org. We've linked their website to our website because they are looking for foster parents. It's a huge commitment, and you raise the dog, you do exposure exercises like that, and then you sacrifice. You give that dog to someone in need, but they're amazing animals, and it's an amazing organization. So happy we could go along for the ride.